a controversy has broken out in the world of snorkeling. Full face snorkel masks are gaining in popularity, but can they replace the traditional mask and snorkel? In this video, the full face snorkel mask is gonna go head to head with the traditional mask and snorkel. And we're gonna decide who the winner is. Coming up. The first category we're going to compare these masks on is comfort. Now a full face snorkel mask is actually very comfortable to use and this is due to a few reasons. The first is the snorkel mask actually keeps all the water off of your face which includes your lips. So no salt water on your lips means your lips is not getting dried out and there's no water seeping into your mouth which is really nice. And unlike a traditional mask and snorkel you don't have anything stuck inside of your mouth. So your jaw's not biting down on a mouthpiece so that's really comfortable. You don't get any jaw fatigue when you're out using one of these all day. And also the straps can be pretty comfortable on the full face snorkel masks. Most of the ones that I've used have been made out of a stretchy cloth material, which is actually really comfortable. I don't know how well that material is gonna hold up in the long term though, but it is comfortable. And the main point of comfort on the full face snorkel mask is the fact that these masks, when fitted properly, never fog. When you're using this mask, as you breathe in, the new air that you breathe in comes across the glass, and that new air coming in across the glass keeps the fog away all the time. So that is really, really nice. If you've ever snorkeled and you've had your mask fog up over and over, it's really annoying. So I think that's where this thing really wins in the comfort category. Now there are a few points of discomfort when it comes to using a traditional mask and snorkel. And one of them is having the snorkel mouthpiece stuck in your mouth for a long time. You actually have to bite down onto this mouthpiece with your jaw and that can tire your jaw out. Sometimes when I'm out snorkeling all day, at the end of the day, my jaw actually feels quite tired and it's not a big deal, but it is kind of annoying. Also with a traditional mask and snorkel, one of the annoying things is if the mask ever leaks at all, you can get salt water down there and it sits around the nose and it sits inside the edge of your nose and it starts to bother you after a while. So it's not a big deal, but it is another point of discomfort. Another point of discomfort is the strap. So typically these masks have a silicone strap. Now they do stick on your head very well, which is nice for utility and security. The mask doesn't fall off. That's great, but it can be a little bit annoying if you have longer hair, it can pull on your hair. So when it comes to the comfort category, I'm gonna say that the full face snorkel mask actually has a slight edge over the traditional mask and snorkel. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Which mask is more comfortable to you? Hey, real quick, if you're enjoying or learning anything from this video, please go ahead and give it a like, and also please consider subscribing to my channel for more great underwater content. Let's get back to the video. The second category we're gonna look at is reliability. Now, when it comes to reliability, I do have a few concerns with the full face snorkel mask. The first is that there are so many parts on the full face snorkel mask. There's a ball stop in the top of the snorkel, there's a water drain valve in the bottom here that could leak and let water in. And there's also four one-way valves inside the mask that direct the airflow as you're breathing in and out. Now, if any one of those four one-way valves fail, it could put you into a potentially dangerous or life-threatening situation as you would be rebreathing your own air over and over and you would deplete your oxygen and you could pass out. It's really bad. So the fact that this mask relies on so many different parts internally to work properly is very bad for reliability because if any one of those fails, now your mask isn't working properly anymore. And also, the big viewing window on the full face snorkel mask is very prone to scratching. If you're transporting the mask with other items, it could rub on it and get scratched. And the last point of concern when it comes to reliability is actually the strap. So the material that the strap is made out of is actually very comfortable, it's very soft. However, I am concerned that in the long run, this could actually stretch out and fail. And I don't know where to get a replacement strap, so when the strap fails, your mask is basically useless at that point. A traditional mask and snorkel has a lot of benefits when it comes to reliability. The first is that the snorkel and the mask are actually separate. So let's just say you lost the snorkel or the snorkel failed, at least you could still use your mask and look underwater. Also, the lens on a traditional mask and snorkel is much smaller, so it's gonna be much less prone to getting scratched. And also, the lens material on a mask like this is usually made out of tempered glass. Tempered glass is very strong, so they very rarely break, but also they very rarely scratch. Glass is a very hard material when compared to polycarbonate, like on the full face mask and snorkel. Also, a traditional mask and snorkel is very simple. As long as your mask is fitted properly, it shouldn't leak on you. And the snorkel, there's really not much that can go wrong with it other than the drain valve going bad on it. 
But if you look at the mask and snorkel I use for traveling and free diving, it actually doesn't even have a drain valve on the snorkel. So it's very, very simple and there's almost nothing that can go wrong with this setup. When it comes to reliability, I'm gonna say that the traditional mask and snorkel definitely has the edge over the full face mask and snorkel. The third category we're going to compare these masks on is utility and usefulness. The full face snorkel mask is only designed for surface snorkeling. These masks are not made for diving down deep. You can do it, I have dove down deep to about 15 feet with these, but they're extremely uncomfortable when you do so. The reason for that is those one-way valves I mentioned earlier actually prevent you from equalizing the eye portion of the mask. So as you dive down, the pressure is gonna start crushing this on your face and it gets uncomfortable really quick. Also, because the full face snorkel mask is so big, it holds so much air and it makes the mask very buoyant. So when you try to dive down towards the bottom, it actually wants to pull you up the entire time and it makes it very difficult diving down. So again, keep in mind, these masks are only made for surface snorkeling. They're not made for free diving. They're not made for diving down. And when you're at the surface of the water, these masks can be very hard to talk through. When you're using a traditional mask and snorkel, you can keep the mask part on and you can take the snorkel out of your mouth and you can talk to your dive buddy, you can talk to the boat, you can talk to the shore very easily. With the full face snorkel mask, you actually have to lift the whole mask off your head to talk to people. A traditional mask and snorkel, on the other hand, can be used for several purposes. You can use this for snorkeling, you can also use this for scuba diving, and you can also use this for free diving. So a nice mask like this is actually a great investment because you can use it for other purposes later on. These masks are very easy to store and travel with as well, so you could keep it in a backpack, keep it in your car, and then you're always ready to go snorkeling. When it comes to usefulness, the traditional mask and snorkel blows the full face snorkel mask out of the water. The fourth category we're gonna look at is a big one, safety. Now there are a few safety concerns when it comes to a full face snorkel mask. The first is if the mask is not fitted properly to your face, you do run the risk of water leaking in and getting around your mouth and your nose, which could be dangerous. And also if it's not fitted properly, you do run the risk of rebreathing your own air over and over, which is very dangerous because as you rebreathe your air, it increases the CO2 and you actually lose oxygen. So you could become disoriented or you could pass out. So with a snorkel mask like this, you have to make sure that it is fitted and it's functioning perfectly. If the mask did leak and start to flood, it takes a little bit longer to get this type of mask off your face versus a traditional mask and snorkel. So that does concern me a little bit. If you were in a panic or you got nervous or you got scared, it would take a little bit longer for you to get this off your face than it would a traditional mask and snorkel. And if you did have to remove the mask to free up your airway, now you've lost the lens around your eyes so you're not able to look underwater anymore. With a traditional mask and snorkel, if your snorkel ever did fill up with water, it's actually very easy to clear. You can just blow the water right out of it. If you didn't have enough air to blow the water out, you could simply open your mouth and spit the snorkel right out and then your mouth is free and you're breathing again. When it comes to safety, I would always recommend a traditional mask and snorkel over a full face mask and snorkel. The next category is price. A full face snorkel mask can start for around $29 online. And for a safe, well-known, reliable full face snorkel mask, it's gonna start around $60 and above online. A traditional mask and snorkel can start for around $25 online. And a good quality, reliable brand can go for about $50 online. So when it comes to price for a quality, reliable snorkel mask, the traditional snorkel mask wins. The last thing we're gonna compare on these snorkel masks is coolness factor. It may sound silly to talk about coolness factor when snorkeling, however, you do want to think about it like this, how do you look to others? If you use a full face snorkel mask, to others, you are going to look like a beginner or a newbie when it comes to snorkeling. Experienced snorkelers don't think very highly of these full face snorkel masks, and some snorkel tour operators, particularly in Hawaii I've heard about, don't even allow these types of masks on their boats when they go out on excursions. So if you wanna play it safe, you should always bring a traditional mask and snorkel. People are gonna have a better image of you and you're always gonna be welcome on a snorkel tour boat. Based on our conclusions when it comes to safety, reliability, and utility, I'm gonna say that the traditional snorkel mask is definitely the winner. I always encourage people who wanna get out in the water to start with a traditional mask and snorkel because in the future it allows them to move up to free diving or scuba diving. 
The full face snorkel mask, however, should not be discounted as a new fad or total junk. It could be very helpful to people who have physical limitations that prevent them from using a traditional mask and snorkel. I have heard from a lot of people in my comment sections they have jaw issues or they have claustrophobia issues that prevent them from using a mask and snorkel like this. And so I say if a full face snorkel mask gives them the comfort and the confidence to get out in the water, then they should definitely use it because it's a great thing to get out in the water and explore. Let me know in the comments below which type of mask you prefer to use and let me know if I miss anything or if there's anything that you disagree with in this video. If you enjoy underwater and ocean related content, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more great videos. And thanks again guys for watching. Now get out into the ocean and explore.